software for creating and displaying multimedia, authoring software. Now, authoring software allows for users to create media, multimedia, and web-based documents. Examples of authoring software are quite broad, with many other classifications of software looked at in this section, such as video processing and animation software, being classified as authoring software. So some examples of authoring software are Adobe Dreamweaver, which is used for building websites, Apple iMovie, which you've already said is a video processing software. It's also classified as authoring software because it allows us to create and be an author. And GarageBand, which allows us to develop audio tracks and snip and clip audio files together. So what we're gonna be doing here is, in order to differentiate it from what we've already looked at in the other areas of the actual types of software for creating and displaying multimedia, we're going to have a bit of a focus on specifically web authoring software. So web authoring software, such as Dreamweaver shown down here, allows users to create websites using a variety of interfaces and a wide range of tools to insert and edit multimedia. Websites and web pages are multimedia. Okay, They can display all the types of media, including hypermedia as well. So what the purpose of web authoring software is, is to do this process as user-friendly as possible because we know we can build a website with a HTML editor and knowing code, but we've got obviously tools, and this doesn't just go for web authoring software, this is for authoring software in general, that the overall purpose of the software is to support the user in creating the media. They don't need to know code. We could do it with code, but we're going to make it a lot easier so they can create and focus on the design and layout as opposed to knowing how to actually code what they want to create. So how can they do this? How does this visualize on screen? Well, firstly, if we do have a look at Dreamweaver, there are a variety of views in order to create the multimedia package. Okay, and this doesn't just go for web authoring software. It's, uh, a lot of media types have this form where we can use different views in order to create what we want to create. So Dreamweaver allows users to create websites using a variety of interfaces using its tools. They include a coding view where I can use HTML code to code the actual website, just like a HTML editor, a WYSIWYG view, which we'll get into in a moment, and then a split view where I can see them both side by side. And that obviously assists because I can insert something in the WYSIWYG view and I can see its code go on the coding side or vice versa. I can put some data into the coding side and I can see how it changes my screen in the WYSIWYG view. So it's quite helpful having these multiple views depending on how much HTML knowledge I know. If I know a lot of HTML knowledge, I might do a lot of coding and I can really change the specifics because HTML gives us the most freedom in our creation. And I can see immediate changes in the WYSIWYG view. Or I might be new to web design and have no idea how to code, but I can still create a website just using the WYSIWYG site. So what is WYSIWYG? Well, essentially it stands for what you see is what you get and it allows you to create a website in a similar format to using desktop publishing software in that I can just type the text on screen and it will appear in my website. I can click and drag images onto my screen or I can type in hyperlinks and they'll straight away, bang, go into my website. Okay, so it's pretty much like using something like Microsoft Word or Microsoft Publisher, but I'm creating a website. So there's great advantages in that I don't really need no HTML code at all. Okay, but also as said before with the split view, I can code and then jump over to the WYSIWYG site and see how it appears straight away, all within the same authoring software. Now, this doesn't just go for HTML code either. I also have other inbuilt home uh, programming languages as well. So things such as CSS, C++ and JavaScript, they can all be built into authoring software and depending on what I'm using the authoring software uh, for as well, because it's not just for web authoring software, it could be some other type of uh, package as well, such as develop animation. We can have programming languages built in so that I can either select snippets from a tools menu or it could auto complete what I'm typing, or I can just click and drag things on and the actual code gets inserted automatically. And that's the real power of having inbuilt programming languages. I don't need to code myself as the user, the software is doing it all for me. So I hope this video has given you a good introduction to authoring software and essentially how it's here to make a user's life easier in the development of a multimedia package. We are looking at a focus here of web authoring software and I hope it sees how much easier it is to develop a website using web authoring software as opposed to a HTML editor where I'd have to enter all the raw code in myself. Okay, so I hope you see the advantages of authoring software.